Ellie, MTD have been doing a lot of work in the last year uh, talking about females in engineering. I'd be really interested to know about your journey. Where did it all start? I started here when I was 16. Um, I came on as a, a production office apprentice. I was really keen on taking things apart as a child. I've really been interested in motorbikes all my life. I've got two, two bikes now, so I like to strip it all down and build it all back up. So, yeah, I came here as, a, as an apprentice, and since then it's just... Does it run in the family? Do you have uh, family members, uh, father, mother that's into engineering, or is it just you? Not really. I mean, my, my dad is into, into motorbikes himself, so he strips them down, but he's actually a linesman, so he's more sort of electrics, but, you know, he's not in the family. Not a Premier League linesman, is he? <laughs> no, no. And what about your, your social circles and your friends? Do, do, do you have any uh, colleagues and, uh, that are in this industry as well? Uh, no, not really. I, I, one of my old friends was a tool maker a few years ago, but other than that, no, just, just me. Um, and what would you say now uh, during this journey? I mean, how long have you actually been working for the company now, Rotec Engineering? So I've been working here 12 years now. So, yeah, from 16 to 28. And, uh, and what's your current role? So my current role is a general manager. Uh, started at 16 as the um, office apprentice. I then went on to a production supervisor role, production manager, operations supervisor, operations manager, and then about four years ago I came on as a general manager. So, so what would your day-to-day -day activities be here? Because I know there's, there's been a lot of investment recently in automation. Is it just a case of making sure a lot of these things are, are doing what they should, or is it managing the people as well? It's more about managing the people and the processes. So on a daily basis, obviously, we get together as a team, plan the productions out, the logistics, the drivers, the flow, get heavily involved in the sales with the, with the quotes and uh, obviously the sales team. And it's just managing the business as a whole, really. And when the company does invest, do you get involved in those decisions as well? Do you go out and look at uh, what options there are available to the company you know, to, to get more off, out of the shop floor uh, in a faster, faster and more efficient way? Absolutely. I mean, um, we always go down to the machine the machine builders themselves see what pros and cons there will be, whether it's good in the automotive side of it or depending on what route we're going down at the time. So. And what would you say to, to younger females that are maybe at school at the moment or are looking at career paths? You know, is, is this an industry that they should be getting involved in? Uh, is, there, is there a big future for females in, in manufacturing or should there be? Absolutely, there's a massive future depending on what sort of industry they want to go into, whether they actually want to be on the machines or in the drawing, the CAD, the logistics side of it, there's so many options for them. And if you had to pick out two or three highlights for your role here at Rotec, what would they be? What do you enjoy the most? Probably telling the guys what to do. <laughs> and I'm sure that works quite well. Anything else? No, no, that's it. <laughs> I'll take that as one, two and three. Thank you very much, Thank Ellie. You.